me shrink this down a little bit. Okay. Topic, the paradox of content. In my new Sovereign article and my metalsmithing book article, I leave content out as to leave it up to the reader, as the reader will come up with something better than what the writer intended. This is why horror books are better than films. They represent it, rep, they represent as the reader's filling in the blanks. This is why I, I didn't add the reason to. Who came up with the plan in my metas, metalsmithing article? How should I address this paradox? Okay. Um, I guess I'm having a hard time grasping what the... Oh, Usa, you, you saw the stream link in Twitch Writer Network. Wonderful. Okay, so I'm, I guess I'm a little confused, James, um, which isn't that hard uh, for me. Um, the paradox, let's open these two articles. Did we have this in? Okay, we've, I think we've reviewed this one before, yeah. And we have this, the whole, yeah. Oh, you're writing, you're typing in as quick as you can. Okay. fair, as the reader will come up with something better than the writer intended. Also, that could also happen. This is why horror books are better than films they represent, than the films they represent, as it leaves, as it is the reader filling in the blanks. This is why I didn't add the reason to should I write prose on why no one knows who the head of the coin is, but doing so will kill the imaginary, oh, imaginary of the reader? But some people would like, would like that as, would be like that is worse than what I thought. Okay. Okay, so we're talking about the coin on the head. And writing prose about why no one knows the head. That is a good question, James. Um, well, see, that could be a whole mystery or a whole short story or even a novel on why it became forgotten. Yeah. Well, I think, okay, when faced with this paradox, I believe that that is ultimately your decision to make on whether you fill in this information or you don't. Because it it is your world and we can talk about the pros and cons between the two things. I forgot to add the stream marker. 
All right, there I added the stream marker talking about the paradox of whether we add information and explain something or leaving it up to the user's imagination. And I, okay, being, so let's talk about the options you have. Not talk about it at all. And just say, no one knows. We don't know why. That's it. Uh, Emily says, I agree with writer Greg. I can write a short story about that or put it in a book. If you're not going to do that, then it would be interesting to have the info in the article or another one. Uh, of course, in answer to James Woodwright. Yeah. See, this is something where... I I would take that no one knows whose face is on the coin. And I, I can think of two stories that I would love to tell about that. First, how did everybody forget the face? And second, whose face it is it actually? You could have a nice little mystery saying of a, an amateur sleuth or a military officer or police saying, yeah, I'm curious, why is that? You could have it be a college student or a, an apprentice of that who just really wants to find out. And then they can succeed or they can fail. Sorry. It, and see, that would, to me, that would be a fun story to to tell if you don't want to write that kind of a story that's your your choice but then you can explain it in a couple of paragraphs in the article explaining the mystery of the man on the coin and or or honestly you can i know the answer i feel it would be like oh okay is that so it's not going to give you the audience the answer make it more fun for them. I feel like it would be, oh, oh, okay. Is that it? So not giving you the answer. Oh, okay. You, you know the answer to the question, but you feel like it's um, boring and maybe you would rather not give the audience the answer because it's more fun not knowing. I don't know if it's fun not knowing. In my personal opinion, I don't know if it's fun not knowing. I would think it's like, huh, okay. And I would just move on. Okay, no one knows the coin. Who's the faces on the coin? That's interesting. I wonder why they made that choice and move on. I don't know if it is a tantalizing question that would fill my mind with, ooh, that's cool, that's mysterious. But a short story that would take me on the adventure on why someone thought it was awesome to try to find out. Because you have, so you could have a protagonist and an antagonist. Your protagonist is trying to find out who it is. But there is the paradox, as you guys would come up with better eyes than what I would come up with for the answer. Well, okay. Then that that's why we have uh, writer groups. This is why we have discussions. You, you could come up, James, with five or 10 different ideas, okay? This is who the person is. Here's five or 10 different reasons. You share that with the group in an article and you say, hey, these are all the different. Which ones do you like? Which ones don't you like? Or do you have a better suggestion? And then use the wisdom of the crowd here in the orchard where we can talk about that kind of stuff and we can work together to help make it a cool idea that is still yours, but that would would make it fun. There are some great ideas that I've truly loved in my stories that didn't come from me. Of course, I took the idea, I took the critique and the feedback, and then I incorporate it into my story. But see, that's why we as writers can work together. That's why writing groups 
or critique groups or con, uh, discord forums work so well is you can have an idea and we work together to make it better. So in the winding dine, uh, winding, <laughs> in the last minute, of this sprint, what I would recommend, James, is come up with five completely different answers to the question, whose man is, whose face is on the coin? And then say, um, just and throw it out there to the community here saying, which one do you like best? Or do you have a better idea of who it is? And then maybe say, why? Why did no, does no one know the man on the coin? Okay. You may want to provide some stipulation saying, in my world, it's a futuristic dystopian with no magic. Okay. Uh, you know, this is not a fantasy article. This is just straight dystopian fiction. And then see how it goes. And I, I think that we're we're here to help answer those questions. So there we go. And that's the sprint. Best of luck, James, and hope that some of that information was helpful.